Oh hey, I'm Invader Kendall, and this is going to be part one of making little stereo speakers, and these are all the components it's going to take, well, plus some ingenuity and something to put it all inside of, of course, but uh, other than that, these are your base components. So it all starts with a 20 watt, that's 10 watts per channel stereo amplifier. DR OK. I'll link all the uh, parts and information in the description below. Um, so you have, let's see if I can get this in focus. Volume knob, power, a something else, a little breakout. <laughs> I don't know, remember what it's for. Uh, power LED. And on this side, from left to right, you have the audio jack the power jack and left right audio output so this is audio input sorry and these are audio output and that's that so all it needs is power audio input it will amplify um, power is bridged right now which makes it constant on or you can set a switch on it We have a bunch of Dayton speakers. Now, I know the name Dayton. I'm sure lots of folks know the name Dayton. So I have some little Dayton. They're low power. They are, what are they, three quarter inch by like two and a quarter? I'll, I'll give you the exact information. So I have two of those. <clears throat> and, oh. Can I pop it off with one hand? Can I do it? A four inch aluminum faced cone subwoofer. And yeah, so I know two channels, left, right, three speakers. So I'm thinking I'll bridge these two to have the same output and run that to the subwoofer. That gives it the full 20 watts. And that'll still leave enough power for these. Now, I know I thought about whether or not that's going to draw too much power. Um, I'm thinking it's going to work out. It'll reduce the amount of you know, power going to the speakers, but these things are plenty powerful enough. I've built enough of these, trust me. All right, and then just a regular power supply. Now here's the point. 12 volt, two amps. 12 volts over 2 amps makes 24 watts, so for a 20 watt power supply that should be more okay. than sufficient. So it's just going to be these things and then what we're going to decide to put it inside is the question. Now, my very first experiment ever was these guys right here. Yeah, I think he, and it's a little 5 volt uh, version, so 5 volts I think it's only a six watt output and it can run on a little battery pack or a USB and I just wired in an audio jack that I got separately and pulled these speakers out of something else that was already broken um, and it was just a proof of concept as you can see I even just wire tied the speakers on it didn't even glue them or screw them or anything and it sounded great it sounded fantastic and I was really surprised at the signature that the cardboard gave it so I, I really liked the cardboard um, here's another set that I made, and this is just a uh, folders coffee can, some uh, laptop speakers out of an old broken laptop I had, and you know it's cabled. It's hard cabled. It's the same little five volt amp that's in this one. Um, I might make another one of these. I have another five volt amp. I can actually make another five volts system. So audio jack and where are we at? Where are we at? USB. It's all hard connected. Right there. On off. Let's see if we can get you a look inside. So that's the uh, same company. 
DROK, and it's just a 5 volt version of pretty much the same guy. Less features, doesn't have on off switch. Um, it's built into the volume knob. Anyway, that's that's not what we have. <clears throat> but very good proofs of concept. Um, I did make a, like a nice, like finished version of that using one of these and these two inch high wave full range drivers. Um, and these worked out great. I just I wanted to step it up a level. These are nice. And the prices you're talking about are ridiculous. You can check it out. I know they're going to fluctuate, um, but I think it was it was less than four bucks for each of these guys, and then sixteen, seventeen, somewhere around that price range for these. Um, this was, I believe, thirteen dollars, and and the power adapter that was seven dollars, I believe. Yeah, we all know the prices on Amazon. So that's it. That's what I've got. Very simple, not much to it. It's just going to be ingenuity. And you saw my tool list. I will link all the information you want about these parts and some of the other related parts as well in the description below. And if you like and uh, enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know if you have any ideas on, you know, the stuff I can put it in. I am thinking cardboard. It has a great sound signature. It's almost just like wood as far as how it shapes the sound and gives it a, a nice warmth and fullness. But that little plastic guy right there actually is pretty surprising as far as how it sounds too. So I'm up to suggestions. Give me guy, give me ideas. Uh, let me know what you want to think. If you have any questions, um, we are going to go through this step by step. We're going to show every part. Everything I solder, everything I touch, everything I try, I'm going to put on video for you guys. So, stay tuned for part two.